All right, so let's look through these three examples and predict the sine of delta S for each process. All right, in the first one, A, water is going from the gas phase to the liquid phase. So before we get to our sine, that's what we want, but is our entropy increasing or decreasing? De what? Decreasing. Okay, yeah, so we said the opposite before. If it goes from liquid to gas, it's increasing. So obviously, if it's going from gas uh, to liquid, entropy is decreasing. It's getting more ordered. Those water molecules are now next to each other, locked into place by those hydrogen bonds. So what do we think our sign for the change in entropy would be? Change in entropy is just going to be like change in anything else. Entropy, the final state, minus the initial. Negative? Negative? Yep. So it's going to be negative. And if you're ever uh, unsure, just throw on some numbers. Okay, so we said the entropy goes down. So let's say uh, water in the gas phase has five. It's joules per Kelvin. So five joules per Kelvin. And then it went down. So water in the liquid phase, let's say, has one joule per Kelvin. I don't know. So it'll be final minus initial, so delta S, would be 1 joule per Kelvin minus 5 joule per Kelvin equals negative 4. Yep. Negative. Just like if you're losing energy, negative. If your entropy is going down, it's kind of not right to say losing entropy, but if you want to, you can say it. I won't tell on you. I will, but you don't have to worry about that. All right, so let's think about B. Solid carbon dioxide sublimes. What's that mean? Solid to a gas. Yeah, that's what sublimation is. CO2 solid. What do we usually call solid CO2? Dry ice, yep, so that's dry ice. And we call it dry ice because it goes from the solid phase to the gas at atmospheric pressure, it's sublime. So you don't ever have liquid CO2 at atmospheric pressure. All right, so is our entropy increasing or decreasing? Increasing, all right, so entropy is going up. What would be the sign of our change in entropy? Positive. Positive, yep. So this time would be going from 5 to 10. 10 minus 5 is plus 5. All right, so C. Going from 2 and 2 O to two nitrogen and oxygen. Now so far all we've been worrying about is phases, so let's look at our phases. We're going from gas to uh, d d gases. Smaller concentration, I think we're on the right track. You're going from a bigger molecule to two separate molecules? I like that, so we're going from one bigger thing to two smaller things. Would that be increasing entropy or decreasing entropy? Increasing? Yeah, it's gonna be increasing. Okay, and so yeah, when you're breaking down something into smaller components, yeah, you're gonna increase the entropy. It's getting more disordered. And it can be even easier than that. If they're all in the same phase, all you have to do is count up the moles. So we're going from two moles of gas to three moles of gas. And our entropy would increase. So we're going from two to three. So in our last one, I mean, in our last episode, in our last meeting, that works, right? Last meeting, okay? Uh, we talked about two pieces of paper. And how many ways can I uh, disorder two pieces of paper? A lot, okay? How many ways can I or disorder three pieces of paper? Even more. Okay, the more stuff you have, the more disordered it is. Okay, and if you want to see a living example of that, 
come to my office. <laughs> All right? As the semester goes, I get more and more papers and more and more work to do, and my office just gets annihilated. Entropy. Entropy is increasing like crazy, especially now. Oh. All right? And then I tidy up. So starting next semester, I'll be back to normal. Okay? And then phew, all downhill from there, entropy. All right, so what is our sign of our entropy if it's going up from two moles to three moles? Positive. Positive. Yep. 